What up, YouTubers? <sighs> Bringing you another video. It's been a while since uh, we've moto vlogged, but uh, today I'm gonna just go ahead and bring you just a, I guess, my version of a basic motorcycle tutorial for first timers and beginners. This is all for you guys. I know you guys are looking out for uh, or looking for info on how to get started on a motorcycle or how to l learn how to ride them, where to learn how to ride them, which you can go to fgmx.bigcartel.com and go ahead and go ahead and sign up for a lesson and learn how to ride. But for the most part, you know what? <sighs> Let's just get to it. Today we're just going to go ahead and go over the basics. Today I'm just going to go, I know we're not on dirt, which is primarily my expertise, but once you know how to ride a motorcycle, you just know how to ride a motorcycle. But today I'm going to show you on my Grom. I'm going to go for a cruise today. Um, and uh, yeah, typically when you are about to get ready to ride, for those of you who already don't know how to ride, uh, you want to go over, go ahead and go over your basic controls, your clutch, which I have, as you can see, a custom bent clutch not on purpose <laughs> but uh but uh, yeah your clutch you got your high beams high and low got your horn here reason why you can't hear it because the bike's off your blinkers here left cancel right cancel and then you got your of course your throttle kill switch once the kill switch is on you go ahead and press that button and it goes ahead and starts the bike Right here you got your front brake, which on and off-road primarily stops the motorcycle. It does not uh, work well if the bike is, or the bars are turned or tilted in any way. You have to be very cautious when you do hit the front brake. Um, and then down here we got on the left foot peg, or in front of the left foot peg, you got your, your gear shifter. Depending on the bike, this one in particular, it's one down. It's neutral, second, third, and fourth. On most other bikes, you'll find it to be one down, neutral, second, third, fourth, fifth, and that's it. And you go ahead and downshift accordingly. But, uh, and on the right side, you got your rear brake. And pri primarily for street, for on, -ride, on road riding, it's, uh, kind of similar use of when you're on dirt because it's not designed to stop you a lot of people panic when they're riding or in there and 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 find themselves in a situation to step on that one real hard all you're going to do is really lock up that back wheel so um but uh it is there to accompany your front brake when in use now <laughs> the biggest problem here let me go ahead and I have a USB charger attached to my my Grom here, so I'm going to uh, go ahead and charge my phone. But the first thing that people have issues with doing, let's go ahead and crank the bike up, by the way. Just turn this key, watch the odometer, press the button, and there we go. Just as simple as that. This will be just how it would be for your first go-round. Probably will help if I put on my gloves first and uh, which you can find at any of your local shops when you start riding for the first time as well as your helmet but typically when you're putting your hands on the handlebars you want to find the most neutral comfortable position possible I myself I'm a dirt bike rider and in motocross it's a habit to just plant your hands on the bars with two f your index finger and your middle finger both on the clutch and front brake it allows me to get familiar with what i last sat on when i last rode and it's a comfort thing for me you can do it too uh or or do one finger on each two finger on the clutch or one finger on the front brake whatever feels most comfortable to you and find a comfortable position on the right on the throttle on the right side of the the handlebars and typically people who've never ridden before they take a handful of this grip and they want to do this thing well problem is when you do that and you're in a situation 
where you have to open up and release a couple fingers to be on the brake it allows it allow you don't you lack stability when you grip the throttle like this and you're twisting the throttle with your arm how i like to explain it is sometimes stock throttle tubes which is what under here have a little bit of play now if you're twisting the throttle with with the handlebars all the way forward stopped you tend to have a little bit less control i always like to have the throttle set back to where it, where it starts to become throttle where it actually applies throttle and you have to go by the feel of whatever bike that you're start starting on mine in particular i have to i want to go ahead and oh well, on every any bike i want to go ahead and kind of rest my palm against the resistance of where the throttle starts if that makes sense and that way i'm just twisting my wrist just ever so slightly so at any given moment i have full control over how much throttle I give it but uh, but yeah let's get to it you want to go ahead and pull the clutch in if you're gonna start in first you're gonna click it down you see the end just went away here it is it's a neutral I can release the clutch give it throttle nothing happens pull in the clutch pull in the clutch and went away which means I am now in gear so all you want to do which is the issue that most people have is you want to be very very easy and smooth not like this but very gradual but at, uh, with the throttle as at the same time you want to release your clutch slowly but once you start feeling the motorcycle move this is where people tend to panic now that we have understood what stops the motorcycle the first thing not to do is to put your feet out or take your hands off the bars because you're removing your control essentially so when you're giving it throttle as soon as you are ready to go we go ahead and release the clutch while giving throttle you see the rpm start to increase and it doesn't take much throttle but you want to just be nice and gradual and once you start moving you just continue holding the throttle and there you go you start riding you take off you do that a couple times this uh riding a motorcycle thing is all about familiarity and being con being comfortable with doing it over and over again because it's 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 a repetition thing it's like going to the gym the only way you can get in shape is to work out all the time consistently now if you don't commute on a motorcycle on a regular basis that's okay make time for those of you who still commute in a car to go in your driveway in front of your house the backyard wherever just to get familiar with taking off from a dead stop make sure you put your helmet on make sure you put your gear on that way you're safe when you do try it you don't want to have bad experiences and you go and put your leg over the motorcycle and you get comfortable with taking off with a dead stop you repeat this over and over again to the point where you're confident enough to maybe go around the block 